the season's over, so it obviously hurts, but to put together the mad rush that you did, what does that say about this team and what, everything you guys have accomplished? Yeah, I think, you know, the second half run we made was, uh, you know, you know, how our team was the entire Big Ten season, how we finished up, just resiliency. Um, I don't know. We fought so hard and was so close. That last shot, I thought, I thought it was going in. Yeah, walk us through those last seconds after the free throw was missed and yeah. Darius going down the court. Uh, I thought the free throw was going in. Zach fought hard, um, tipped it. They almost got offensive rebound. Um, Darius got it on the fast break. I saw when he got it, I just immediately you know, tried to space the court, ran to the corner. And, uh, you know, he came in for runner. I think Kyrie was guarding him, backed off, and he got a great shot that he hits over and over in practice and in games. And uh, just inches away. What was the difference in the second half? Was it when you changed up the D, extended the zone a little bit, and made them think? A, a little bit. Nolan got going a little bit man-to-man. -man. He got in the ball screens and, uh, you know, got some, got some great looks. So some tough shots, but, uh, you know, that's what that's the player he is. That's what he's capable of. So we went to the zone, kind of slowed things up for him a little bit. Um, and we rebound. We just tough some, um, you know, 50-50 balls out that, you know, we just willed some things. I got to ask you about the, the way the game was called. I know you can't be too critical of the officials, but how does that change the approach when everybody seems to be fighting foul trouble? Yeah, we we, we struggle with that. Um, you know, we're young. We're still learning that. You know, Jordan's had some foul trouble during the years. Um, Horford. You know, the big guys especially learn how to play down low and play physical without fouling. Um, something we're just keep learning. And we'll keep learning this summer with that. And. Uh, but I think we adjusted, and we, we, you know, early on in the year when our big guys and our, you know, major minutes got to get fouled trouble, we, we, you know, wouldn't know what to do, and uh, you know, guys now are stepping up off the bench like Evan did, had a great first half, and uh, so that was key to, you know, keeping that game close. It's always tough to maybe put perspective on it so mm -hmm. soon after a loss, but when, can you begin to appreciate what you accomplished when you consider what people expected of you in November? Yeah, I, I you know, I appreciate it completely. Just seeing the, you know, the, the drastic difference between my first year and second year, and you know, making a tournament, and then uh, having hopes for the, my sophomore year, and just never not getting back to the tournament. Uh, you know, not getting to any tournament. And uh, so I definitely appreciate this experience and, you know, the opportunity to play against a team like Duke and the opportunity to almost get to the Sweet 16, but uh, just makes us so much more hungry for next year.